the next contestants. Our next judge is Mark Saltzman. He's a freelance technology journalist for USA Today, Yahoo, MSN, Costco, Connection, AARP, and Common Sense Media. He's written 16 books and is frequently on TV and is the host of the syndicated radio show, Tech It Out, distributed by Radio America. Mark Saltzman. Thank you, David. And uh, please, another round of applause for Carrie and Robin for producing Last Gadget Standing every year. 18 years is a huge milestone. Um, and please keep in mind also that uh, what happens in Vegas doesn't have to stay in Vegas. You can share Last Gadget Standing on Facebook Live. We are live right now. So uh, if you want to just Google it or go to Facebook and type in Last Gadget Standing, uh, please, we encourage you to share your feed so your friends and colleagues can watch the show as well. All right, so as you walk around CES, you're going to notice among some of the products, what's old is new again, but often with a modern twist. So while we've got 8K cameras on the show floor, we also have old film pr uh, printers. So Fujifilm has a little portable printer that spits out square uh, photos uh, a la you know, Polaroid from the 70s, but it's Bluetooth and it works with smartphones, hence the modern twist. Then you've got boom boxes from the 80s that are back if you walk around the show floor. House of Marley has one with a cool bamboo finish on it, but of course it's also Bluetooth and can charge up your smartphone. So it's really neat when we've got something that's tried and true, but it has a, a new spin to it. And that brings us to our next, our, our next presenter, VestaBoard. This is it right here. So we now have the internet infusing a mechanical split flip board, which is kind of neat. Um, so joining us, joining us on stage, without further ado, to tell us all about VestaBoard is Dorian Porter, CEO, and Ian Geyer, operations lead at the company. And I guess the board's going to introduce you as well. Okay. Please, everybody give them a wel uh, welcome applause. <laughs> As you look to the future, you get to decide what you want to hold on to. This is a VestaBoard, a wonderfully mechanical display that you can control from anywhere. Thank you. My name's Dorian. I'm the CEO of VestaBoard. I'm very hopeful this is going to turn the slides as I go through. Uh, when you create a product, uh, a lot of people think uh, there's one idea. How did you come up with this idea? And as an entrepreneur, I believe that ideas are the series of your life. There's 10 things that influence an idea. So I'm going to talk about two of them. One is the Paris train station I was in 10 years ago. And if you go into that Paris train station, Gare du Nord, there's a giant split flap display that tells you when the trains are leaving. And it's mechanical and it's magical. And I don't know how anyone catches their train because you just stand there and look at it uh, and watch it go. Uh, but it's really expensive, and you could never fit one into your house or your office. So that's been with me for a long time. The other thing that I'll talk about is I like to put quotes on my children's walls in their rooms. And if my 13-year-old daughter, Kate, 14-year-old daughter Kate was here today, she'd say, well, you don't really put quotes on our walls, Dad. You did it a few times. And I'd say, that's true. But I wanted to do it every day. I wanted to inspire them every day. So I was trying to think, what could I do? And I would never put a television set in their room. Uh, number one, it would probably be black screen half the time. It would suck a lot of power. I'd have to connect it to some other device. Uh, and if it wasn't on black screen, it would probably be on The Simpsons. And they'd never see the quote that I sent them. So we came up with VestaBoard. And I'm just going to show you how it works. I can use my phone to send any message that I want uh, to my kids uh, using the mobile phone, whether I'm in the house or whether, my, whether I'm away. So even if I'm here at CES and I'm thinking about them, and I miss the three of them very much after this long week here, I can send them a message back to their home uh, that says I miss them and I can't wait to see them until after I'm CES. Now, will everyone want a VestaBoard in their home? I hope so, uh, but probably not. It's a high-end product. It's a little bit uh, 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 special in its design, so it's going to fit a certain aesthetic. But we do think that there is a big commercial market opportunity uh, for this on the slides here. Uh, we think there's a, a great commercial market opportunity in bars and restaurants as well. So a bar, a restaurant, or a hotel can use it for wayfaring for guests, or they can guide people to the daily special. And in the office, we think it could be a great water cooler opportunity for the office, whether it's team culture and spirit, or whether it's for you know, celebrating sales wins, or community, communicating things to the entire office in one go. Uh, so we've got this wonderfully designed product that we think is part art, and we think it can pack a lot of function 
uh, into the product as well. Let me tell you where we've been spending all of our time. In terms of stage, what you're seeing here is the creation of 161 of what we call VestaBoard bits. And these bits are what we've been spending all of our time making because we've taken these old things and we've tried to cram it down where each of them has their own motor and they're running 70 different flaps. So we've got the letters in there, we've got the, num the, the numbers, some special characters, and we'll add some patterns and colors into that. And with 70 flaps and 161 bits, it means we're going to be shipping a product later this year uh, that has over 10,000 pieces in it, which is amazing and hard and uh, challenging and inspiring. The, not only can you control it with your phone, we're going to, if you, if you can show the, uh, oh yeah, let's, let's take a look at this first. Uh, we're, we're adding a lot of different apps as well. So people ask, like, do I always have to message the phone? The answer is we're, we're trying to add any kind of apps. So whether it's uh, Slack or, you know, seeing that your buddy on Strava just beat your time on running or racing, uh, let you know in your living room that you should get back on your bike, uh, or Spotify, be able to stream to the board a variety of different things. And of course, we would want to, well, there's my Spotify now playing. Uh, all you need is love by the Beatles. Um, and of course, it wouldn't be at this show if we couldn't control it with our voice. So we'll integrate with Google Home and with Alexa. So if I say, Alexa, ask VestaBoard to go to the home screen, that's exactly what it should do. Uh, and uh, that's, that's my demo today. Thank you. So, Nori, my instinct is to make a snarky remark about, like, I already have a way to get texts. Sure. But the truth is, I'm in love with this thing. Um, you, the, uh, the question is, like, what need does it fulfill? But that's not really the point here, is it? There's something, like you said, it's, it's low-tech, it's magical, it's old-fashioned, it's satisfying. Yeah. Right? It's more of an artistic itch. There's an artistic itch. I think there's a visceral itch. I think as we get screen and buzz overload, whether it's in the home or even with the digital signage market in commercial, uh, I think anything we can do to kind of temper that a little bit. Uh, there's always going to be sp spaces we can walk into that are bright, lit, and wonderful to see and you know, inspiring in their own right. Um, but as we say in our video, uh, you know, we get to decide what we want to hold on to in the future. And I think if we can keep a, pit, a bit of the past, I also happen to believe that this split, split fat if I could get some water, that'd be great. Um, if this split flap technology, uh, you know, it's been around 100 years. It was invented as a clock 100 years ago. In the US, a European company, Solari, really made it into those boards from the 30s to the, to the 80s. But when you think about it, it's actually the falling cost of manufacturing that's even enabled us to think about making it accessible. So I'm not convinced that, you know, splitting characters mechanically is just something that's retro. I think it's really neat, and I think a child could see it and be really inspired by it and, and empower their own creativity to think about how you use physical materials to make a better world. And is, is this, in fact, how the ones in the train stations work? Uh, well, certainly that concept of a split flap, where you're, you've got two characters on either side of a flap, and they're flapping over, just like the alarm clocks you know, from Sony and Panasonic in the 70s, and, right. and Solari did a beautiful clock in the 50s. Um, that's the same concept that we're using. In terms of what we've done, I mean, it is a lot of R&D and really smart engineers working. I've got an amazing team. Uh, and Faiza Hassan, who's our product designer, has been designing mechanical products for 13 or 14 years. Uh, the whole team spent a ton of time just trying to perfect what we're working on. And uh, how much will it be? Uh, so it look, looking like it will retail around $3,000. Oh, you're killing me, man. Well, he's... Apparently, 161 times anything is really expensive, so we're, <laughs> we're, we're, we're trying to make this as affordably as we can, so we can, you know, max it, like, in terms of trying to figure out what the price point will be, finally, but it's looking like $3,000, and we're doing friends and family pre-order right now for $1,850, uh, so get a hold of me, or I, I think we have a CES link, uh, vestaboard.com slash CES. Excellent. Well, thanks for bringing a little bit of the old into the new. Dorian, thank, thank you. you. Vestaboard.